It has been 12 months since these LEGO sets have retired, so let's take a look and see how they are performing. G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm doing another 12 months later video talking about three more sets that did retire 12 months ago and we're just going to have a look at how they're tracking along, how much they are currently worth, how much of them are selling and see if we did invest in them how much money we would be making. Now the first set we're going to be taking a look at is the roller coaster, set number 10261, 4124 pieces. Now this set in Australia it did retail for $500, in the US was $380 and the UK was $300 on the dot. Now if we go and have a look, I just want to touch on the shelf life, so how long this uh, set was obviously out for. Now we can see that it was uh, released in June of 2018 and did retire at the end of 2021, being 12 months ago obviously. So about a three and a half year shelf life this set did have, which is a uh, little slightly above average for LEGO sets um, overall on average. And this set does have 11 min minifigures and 11 being exclusive, which we're going to have a touch on now. Now with uh, LEGO sets, with um, ways that it can be increased in value, obviously you do have uh, lots of different signs. Minifigures is one, you've got supply and demand, shelf life, the collectability, all of that stuff. We're just going to be touching on a few of the reasons why I think uh, a set has gone up in value and why it may not have gone up in value. So this one, uh, we're going to have a look at the minifigures real quick. So 11 minifigures as we touched on and 11 of them are exclusive. So they are all exclusive. But with these figures, as you can see, there is no real standout figures. The most expensive one actually I have written down, I think is $5.74. But overall, these uh, 11 figures come to $49.42 in, in total value if you were to sell them individually. Now that's just an average price, but uh, pretty much about 50 bucks. And considering that the set was worth 500 in Australia, it's 10%. So the minifigures are definitely not driving the value and the demand and you know, the popularity of this set post-retirement. Now on Bricklink, the last six month sales for this set we can see is sitting at $542. That's the last six months. And we can see that the total quantity sold in the last six months is 74. So it's not a horrible demand on, Br on Bricklink. It's uh, quite good, especially for a bigger set. But the value, as we can see, $42 above retail in 12 months. That's not good enough from an investment standpoint. But if we have a look at the last three months, because obviously if uh, three months can change the difference, especially if it has only been out for 12 months, uh, we're going to ignore January because we're still in the middle of January. But December, it did have an average price of 566. November, 555. And October, 570. So an average between those three is about $565, which is slightly higher than the last six months. So we can see that on average, it has had a slight growth in the last three months. Now, after fees, because remember, Bricklink does take fees, it comes to $531 if we were to get that $565. Now, that's just an average. Could get more, you could get less. But after fees on Bricklink, you're looking at $531. Now, if we go and compare that to eBay here in Australia, uh, I've tagged this as condition new, uh, location Australia only, because that's obviously where I'm from, and I have tagged it as sold listings, as you can see down here. Now, in the green, that means that's how much it's sold for. Now you can see that one sold for 530, 500, 445 plus postage, 500 plus a good chunk of postage, 500, 550, 500, 500, 485. So taking the average of all of these sold uh, sold listings on eBay, you're looking at 500 bucks. So that is uh, less than on Bricklink. Now that is actually, um, it's very interesting because sometimes here in Australia, the Bricklink average Majority of the time, it is lower than what it sells on eBay, but in some um, circumstances like this one, it sells less for on eBay than what it does on Bricklink. Now, after fees, if you were to sell it on eBay, you're looking at about 430 bucks, which is obviously $100 less than if you sold it on Bricklink. So if you do have this set and you're looking to flog it off, um, I'd avoid eBay at this current time. Try and sell it on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that that isn't going to charge you any fees. But Bricklink seems to be uh, where you're going to make your most money out of eBay and Bricklink. Obviously, there is other places like Amazon and stuff. But just taking the prices from these two, because I'm not going into too much depth uh, about the value of these sets and all the different um, the places you can sell them. But at the moment, that's what you're looking at. I'd definitely sell it on Bricklink over eBay. 
but eBay does have the better foot traffic compared to Bricklink, at least here in Australia. Now this set was actually uh, heavily discounted before it retired. It was, uh, I think, around 30 to 40 percent off here in Australia. I only picked up two. Uh, I think I think I picked up two. I wasn't too uh, fancied on this set to go real deep on. It is a part of the um, the Creator Expert range and a part of that Fairground collection, which has like your, you know, your Ferris wheel. Uh, your merry-go-round and all that type of stuff which have done well but I thought this one is quite a bigger set bigger sets tend to take longer uh, going up in return on like return on investment wise than smaller sets so I'll just stick to two but I got these for like 350 bucks each so I'm looking you know it's 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 okay for me to for my return on investment after 12 months I'll definitely wait more towards mid-year to sell mine but at retail price, selling it now, on average, in Australian value, you're looking at about percent return on investment. Now, next on the list is we're having a look at the TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. 75274 is the set number and 724 pieces. This is a, um, a very good set, a very good set. If you are into LEGO investing, you definitely would have heard of this one. But let's go and have a gaze. Now, this set in Australia retailed for 90 bucks here in Australia. US was 60, UK was 55 pounds. Now, the shelf life on this bad boy was released in April of 2020, retired December 2021, so a little bit more than a year and a half shelf life. So, decent shelf life for investing uh, standpoint. And obviously, it doesn't have any minifigures. So, we're just going to go and have a look at the current value of the set. Now, the last six month sales, we can see that the average price is sitting at $234. So a big increase from that $90 just in that 12 month period. Now, the last six months, you can see that there has been a lot sold as well, like 237. So the demand for this set is definitely a lot higher than what the roller coaster was. But January, there has been 37 sold. So that's pretty good considering we're only halfway through, but that's sitting at 250 bucks. Uh, in December, Scroll down, there was 51 sold uh, with 243, November, 237, uh, and 237 in October. So you can see that it's still gradually growing every single month. And at the moment, it's sitting at 234, but the last couple of months at least, 250, 243. So this thing is not slowing down, it just continues to grow in value. So let's just take an average. At the moment, you probably get on Brickling about 245 at least for it. After fees, you're looking at 225 dollars now this thing um the supply for this it, it was pretty tricky to get so the supply had a big uh part to play in this and obviously the demand has as well that's what you want with lego sets to grow in value you want low supply and high demand you want them hard to get so there's not as many out there and people want it and they're willing to pay that extra because it's very hard to get now as i said 225 dollars is what you're looking at on bricklink after fees and on ebay we can see that one has sold for 300, 270, 300, 300, 285, 350, 273, 280, 230, 300, 350, 300. We can keep going. But you can see that all those ones I just listed have been sold before the 10th of January because the demand for this set is nuts. People want it. And that's what has made this set go up in value um, immensely in just that short 12 month period. But I did take all the average sale prices, combine them and uh, come up with the average of 300 bucks, uh, which after fees, postage, all that kind of stuff is $258 here in Australia, which means your return on investment, if you did pay retail price, is you're looking at $168 profit for 186% return on investment. Now, obviously you could get more, you could get less, but that's just an overall average. So amazing investment if you did pick up these in 2021. Now the final one we're going to be touching on is the Ferrari F8 uh, Tributo, uh, set number 76895, 275 pieces. Uh, now this set in Australia retailed for 30 bucks, the US was 20, the UK was 18 pounds. Uh, brick set, we're going to have a look at the shelf life. As we can see, it was released in January of 2020, retired at the end of 2021, so essentially it was out for two years. So a decent shelf life for this Speed Champion set. And it does have one minifigure, which is exclusive, which we're going to have a quick look at now. So one minifigure, it is the Ferrari F8 uh, driver. It is an exclusive figure, as I said, and but it's only worth $2.86. So... Nothing exciting about the figure at all. It's not driving the set. It's obviously the fact that it's a Ferrari is why it's doing pretty decently. We're going to have a look now. So last six months, we can see that the average price is around $41.36. 280 sold. So definitely decent demand for this set, at least on Bricklink. In January, sitting about 42. December, 42. 
November 43. So essentially it's sitting around that 42, 43 bucks in the last three months. So it hasn't really grown the last few months. It is kind of stagnating around them low for $40. But after fees, yeah, you're looking at essentially 40 bucks on Bricklink. Now we're gonna go and have a look at eBay. So again, it's all sold listings. We're gonna have a look at just the Ferrari ones because they do like to sell them in the bundles. But one was 40 bucks plus 13 postage, 43 plus 13 postage, 60, 52, 65, 60. Um, again, I have taken the average of all of these sales and it comes to $55 um, on average, which after fees is about $47.30, so 47, but give or take around that mark, which means after fees, you're looking at about $17.30 profit and 57.67% is your return on investment for the Ferrari. Now that is if you um, sell them obviously on these platforms that do have fees. Now I prefer if I'm selling my sets to do it on places that do not have fees like Facebook Marketplace for example. Um, there isn't going to be as wide as audience obviously as there is on eBay, that's why there is fees. But make sure if you are on Facebook, join all the Lego groups in your country, in your area and uh, join them and post them on there as well to get more of an audience to try and sell your sets so you don't have to pay any of those pesky fees and your return on investment obviously will get higher. But those three again, obviously we did have the roller coaster, which as we said is sitting at about percent return on investment. The TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet is sitting at about 186% return on investment and the Ferrari F8 is sitting at about 57.67% return on investment. So those were just three sets talking about how they have performed over the last 12 months and a little bit of a reason why I do believe so. But if you do have another three sets you would like me to review, I'll definitely be doing that. This is going to be probably a weekly or a fortnightly series. I'm going to be doing another three sets per video every week or every two weeks or so because it is interesting just to see how these uh, sets have performed post-retirement and see if we can learn anything. That's the most important thing. If we can learn anything from these investments um, and to be able to put that information into our investments we do make this year. But if you did enjoy the video, please smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.